Hey everyone, it's Joan Isaias from The Automator, and we were doing some more work with Fidium. This is the URL above me here that you can take a look at if you're interested in learning more about uh, browser automation, right? Without yeah, using, that, that's, that's what it is all about, yeah. Without web sockets, without using, and this is what actually was really kind of confusing until we started diving into it. Isaias, why don't you go ahead and kick us off here explaining it, and we'll discuss it. Right. So the, the main confusion, and, and whenever we talk about it, you mentioned that, uh, you know, selenium is so difficult to understand and so on. And then we were talking about rufadium, and I say, well, it is the same as selenium. The only difference is that it is concentrating on very specific part of it. And me trying to explain what is going on, I, I gave you some pointers, and now this is where this video is coming on. Uh, it's just about how to try to understand it. Note that I'm not like very knowledgeable in the topic. I do have the basic understanding of it. So I'm just going to explain what I understand. Okay. So it might be that it's not exactly like that, but I'm going to give you the idea of where, how, what is, is going on in here. So basically Selenium. So you know that we have a lot of, a bunch of browsers and each browser does its thing differently from one another. There was this push to try to automate browsers. And this project, the Selenium project, what they did is that for each browser, they created an executable that would try to automate that browser. So if, and then they created a tool suite, okay, and libraries that allowed you to automate them all at the same time. That's what they did. At some point, the W3C consortium made a specification about what the web driver should be. That's the part that I'm not really sure about, if they made the driver specification first, or if the specification came about what people were trying to do and they said like, oh, we have to do something about it, right? But there is a web driver specification that sets a standard as to what a web driver should do, how it should behave, and the Selenium project, which was already automating now, adopted that standard. And notice the word web driver. They created a web driver for each browser. Later on, I think- Hold on, when you yeah. say they, who are you meaning they- I'm talking in Selenium themselves. Yeah. Right, so they, have, they had these web drivers. And then I, I would assume that the browsers themselves, they decided, okay, no, hold on. Let's grab the specifications and we, that we know the browser more than anybody, let's create our driver and that we, Selenium can use it, right? The, 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 the official one. And now if you go for each page, you will say that Chrome, the Chromium project has its own web driver, right? It's called Chrome driver. Microsoft has its own Chrome driver. Well, MS Edge driver in this case. And the same would be for Mozilla, which would be the Gecko driver. So those are specific executables that answer to certain specific types of commands in a very, very standardized way that allow a project like Selenium to send information to the three browsers at once. Because if you run the three drivers and you send information to all of them, you can automate three browsers at the same time with your program. That's what Selenium is. Selenium is basically a tool, and, and they say it like that. It's an umbrella project for a range of tools and libraries. It's not that they really automate, it's just that they're giving you a lot of tools to automate. Now, these three drivers, at least those are the major ones, there are others. You can download them yourself, which is what Refidium is, is actually for. Refidium, downloads this driver and using auto hotkey is sending commands to that driver. That's all there is to it. So basically I would say, in my opinion, uh, Rufadium is doing something very, very similar to what Selenium is doing, okay? The only thing is that Selenium is a very old project. It is really complex and it has a lot of tools and libraries. You would, it has a very high learning curve. Now for Rufadium though, it is concentrating on sending the commands and it has very specific simple functions that you can just follow. And it is really great at that, but it is not like it is doing something too far away from what Selenium is doing. It's just kind of like simplifying what it's doing. Uh, Selenium is a tool suite and Refidium is just like, here are a few functions that you can use from the 
uh, driver itself, the ones that are most used, that's all. Yeah, and, and let me take a step back here because just years ago I installed the version of Selenium that we with AutoHotKey can connect to. And it was right, an yeah. older version. They never released a newer version. And it was very buggy and problematic when you go to mm-hmm. install it. It was also like 160 megs or something. I mean, uh-huh. not huge, but still it was, you know, it was big. And it was, they, back to your point though, it was cool because I could go get the different drivers. Um, mm-hmm. At the time, I think I was getting them from Selenium, but I can't recall. Maybe I got them from, you know, from Chrome. I don't remember at that point where I was getting them because, like you said, Selenium released their own web drivers, and so this yes. is where it gets really confusing. But yes, the the beautiful part of it is, you know, with now we can connect to with AutoHotKey right now with the Refidium library, we can connect to the web. The, the, the web drivers and basically automate them and the commands because of the W3C or whoever it was, right? Yeah. They should be pretty similar, right? Well, right. Yeah, they are, they are standardized. Yes. Yeah. So, 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 and this is the part um, that I am um, basically kind of like driving the point is Selenium has its own web driver and that web driver, when you hear the word Selenium web driver, it refers to the language bindings and the implementations of the individual browser. So it's, it, when you talk about Selenium web driver, it's something really complex. It's not just simply the web driver itself. It has two components to it. But when you go to Chrome driver, they don't have language binding, bindings. So they're not, so this is the point. Selenium, you can use it in different languages. You can use it in, in JavaScript. You can use it in C++. You can use it in many languages. And for each language, it has a set of components so that it is easy for you on your language. Chrome well, driver, it, so Chrome driver is language agnostic. It doesn't matter which language you use. You just send something to it and that's it. Yeah. And that's, well, actually, so let's take it a step further because we actually had a call with the um, developer for uh, Refidium. Uh, Zio X786, if I remember right. Yeah. And it, he, you know, we were just talking through stuff and looking at it, and we realized. You know, he said it in the call. He's like, "Look, this this web driver is really just a um, server you're connecting to, right? Yes. And that you're, it connects to the browser for you, and then you you interact with that web driver, and and it's you know it's that simple, right? You're sending JavaScript. Is that right? Uh, no, uh, come up, uh, JSON object. JSON. Sorry. Okay, yeah, that's, that's right. right. Cool. So basically, the, the, the executable itself, which is what we call the, the driver, the web driver or Chrome driver or MS Edge driver, all of those, is kind of like an executable. And we could actually show it right now. I could just show you how it looks like. So basically, what it, what, if you go ahead and um, open up the driver. So I have the Chrome driver downloaded here. And if I go ahead and double click on it, uh, you will get this black window, of course, the CMD in this case. It is started and it is listening on a specific port. That's all there is to it. Now, if you send information to that port and the information that you send is something that it makes sense to it, it would actually go ahead and <laughs> do the commands for you. So uh, it is not... If you already know how to send information to a server like this, and again, as I mentioned, this is just JSON strings that you're sending to it. If you format that string in a way that the server is expecting, the server will answer back and it will actually perform the actions that you are telling it to do. That's all. Yeah, it's basically, it really is an API call, right? Which it's, it's using that com object anyway. But basically, yeah. if you think about it, you're sending a request to a server, but it's yeah. our browser in this sense, and yeah. it understands it, and it will send something back. But That's uh, it. Or, or perform some actions on the browser, because you can tell it, you know, open a new page. Yeah. If you send this string in the correct format, the Chrome driver will understand it and will do that action. And that's the part that might be a little bit more difficult because now you have to dive into the, into the documentation. The funny thing is that the documentation for one driver might be really similar to the other drivers as well. So if you know how to do it for one of them, you know how to do it for most of them because right. they are based on a standard. Okay, now there's a few differences. There's a few wow. things that Chrome might not do that Edge might do and vice versa. But the general idea is that you should be able to uh, kind of like control them easy, easily with, you know, JSON strings. That's the idea behind it. 
Awesome. So I hope that helps clarify what it is you're doing with Profidium and what web drivers are, because we were talking through and finally realized this is why we get so confused is we were, we'd see web driver and think it's from Selenium because they do have a version from Selenium, but yes. those aren't the ones that we're actually using now. Refer no, yeah, they're different. Yeah. Awesome. All right. Thanks. Okay. Bye.